Ever wonder how some investors manage to thrive even when the market is down? The secret lies in finding undervalued stocks with strong fundamentals. While everyone else is focused on the market's top performers, experts like Warren Buffett know the real value lies in stocks that are temporarily out of favor. Today, I'll show you and John five household named dividend stocks that are either at their 52-week record low or recovering from it, showing you why now might be the perfect time to consider them for your investment strategy. I'll show you how much you can earn from a $10,000 investment in each of these stocks. And for our final stock, I have an option that has the potential to turn that $10,000 into over $2 million, paying over $60,000 in monthly dividends. Okay, let's kick things off with our fifth place dividend stock, the Hershey Company with the ticker symbol HSY. Famous for its iconic chocolates and sweets, Hershey's has been a household name for over a century. Currently, Hershey's stock is trading very close to its 52-week low, a position that might make some investors question, but also why this could be a fantastic opportunity. Hershey's recent price return has been a bit shaky, with a year-to-date return of negative 0.85%. However, Looking at its 10-year price return, Hershey has seen an impressive growth of 91.66%. This kind of historical performance indicates a strong foundation and a resilient business model capable of weathering market volatility. One of the key aspects to consider is Hershey's revenue growth and payout ratio. Over the past year, Hershey has achieved a revenue growth rate of 6.42% and a forward revenue growth estimate of 4.49%. Additionally, Hershey maintains a payout ratio of 49.38%, which means it returns nearly half its earnings to shareholders in the form of dividends, a positive sign for dividend investors seeking regular income. Speaking of dividends, Hershey currently offers a forward dividend yield of 2.98%, backed by a strong dividend growth rate of 10.2% and an average share price appreciation of 2.98%. The company's commitment to increasing dividends over time, coupled with its consecutive 14 years of dividend growth, underscores its dedication to rewarding shareholders. Based on these metrics, if John were to invest $10,000 in Hershey today, the potential returns after one year might grow to $10,961. Over a decade, the investment could increase to $26,262. Extending this horizon after 20 years, John's initial $10,000 could potentially grow to $78,767. And after 30 years, a staggering $284,452. Moreover, with dividends reinvested, the total value added over 30 years could reach $274,452, demonstrating the power of compound growth. The dividends themselves would accumulate to about $20,408 after 30 years, translating to a monthly dividend income of approximately $1,701, providing a steady cash flow. Hershey's risk metrics also play in its favor. The stock has a relatively low 24-month beta of 0.33, indicating lower volatility compared to the overall market. This lower beta means Hershey's stock price tends to be less affected by broader market swings, making it a more stable choice for conservative investors. Hershey's current position at its 52-week low might seem discouraging at first glance, but a closer look reveals a company with strong historical performance, consistent revenue growth, and a solid dividend record. Its relatively low volatility and potential for long-term growth make it a compelling candidate for those looking to add a reliable dividend stock to their portfolio. Next on our list is Deere & Company, with the ticker symbol DE, a powerhouse in the agricultural and construction machinery industry. The company has faced a challenging year, with a year-to-date price return of negative 10.06%. Despite this recent downturn, the company shows a stellar 10-year price return of 310.43%, a strong historical performance. Such a track record suggests that Deere has the capacity to recover and thrive even after periods of market volatility. 
Focusing on Deere's revenue growth and payout ratio reveals a very positive picture. The company's forward revenue growth is estimated to be negative 1.95%, a slight decrease but understandable given the cyclical nature of the industry. Deere's payout ratio is a conservative 16.65%, indicating that the company retains a significant portion of its earnings to reinvest in its business, which is a positive indicator for long-term growth and stability. Deere's dividend metrics further enhance its appeal. The company offers a forward dividend yield of 1.63%, which, although lower than some of its peers, comes with a strong 10-year average dividend growth rate of 10.46% and an even better average share price appreciation of 14.82%. Looking at future projections, investing $10,000 in Deere today has the potential to grow to $11,645 after one year. Over 10 years, it could rise to $44,744. Extending this further, after 20 years, your initial $10,000 investment could grow to $192,024. And after 30 years, it could reach an impressive $802,295, paying $3,114 in annual dividends. While the dividend of the previous stock was better, this stock still has the potential to add an extra $500,000 compared to our last stock. And this extra growth sounds good, but wait until the last stock, which has the potential to grow to upwards of $2 million and pay over $60,000 in monthly dividends. Back to Deere & Company. Deere's price-to-earnings ratio for the next fiscal year is 14.19, which means investors are paying $14.19 for every dollar the company earns in profit. This P.E. ratio is lower than the industry average, making Deere's stock look cheaper relative to its earnings. Deere's risk profile is also noteworthy. The stock has a 24-month beta of 1.03, indicating it's slightly more volatile than the market, which is expected for a company in a cyclical industry. However, this level of risk is manageable, especially considering the company's robust operational performance and market position. Additionally, Deere has an Altman Z score of 2.99, this score assesses a company's financial health and the likelihood of bankruptcy. Deere's score of 2.99 suggests it's in a strong financial position with a lower risk of bankruptcy. The third stock on our list is the Home Depot, with the ticker symbol HD, a leading player in the home improvement retail sector. Currently trading near its 52-week low, Home Depot offers an interesting opportunity for investors looking for a strong combination of income and growth. Home Depot's year-to-date return is negative 2.46%, reflecting some of the broader market pressures that have affected many retail stocks. However, its 10-year price return is a remarkable 324.59%, showing consistent long-term growth and the company's ability to deliver value to its shareholders over the long haul. When it comes to dividends, Home Depot shines. The company offers a forward dividend yield of 2.69%, supported by an average dividend growth rate of 17.57% and an average share price appreciation of 15.4%. Let's consider future projections. Investing $10,000 in Home Depot today could yield impressive returns over time. After one year, the investment could grow to approximately $11,809. Over 10 years, it might increase to $53,995. Extending this further, after 20 years, the investment could potentially grow to $309,536. And after 30 years, it could reach an astounding $1,910,191 paying $79,530 in annual dividends, which is a monthly income of $6,628. The total value added over 30 years could amount to $1,900,191, with total capital appreciation of $1,468,144 and total dividend reinvestment of $432,047, making it a potentially lucrative investment.
Home Depot's profitability metrics are robust. The company has a gross profit margin of 33.48%, and its net income margin stands at 9.79%, reflecting efficient cost management and strong earnings generation. Home Depot's return on equity is an impressive 1,362.97%, though this figure is unusually high and may be due to specific accounting practices. The company's return on assets is 21.08% and its return on total capital is 25.6%, indicating efficient use of capital and assets to generate profits. The company's strong historical performance, consistent revenue growth, attractive dividend yield, and robust profitability make it a valuable addition to any portfolio. Moving on to number two on our list. Lowe's Companies Incorporated with the ticker symbol Lowe, another major player in the home improvement retail industry. This is one of the recovering stocks after recently hitting its 52-week low. Lowe's year-to-date price return stands at negative 2.65%, reflecting some challenges faced by the broader retail sector. However, its 10-year price return is remarkable at 356.91% and Lowe's dividend metrics are quite compelling. The company offers a forward dividend yield of 2.15%, supported by a 10-year average dividend growth rate of 19.84% and an average share price appreciation of 16.32%. The stock has an impressive track record of 60 consecutive years of dividend growth, highlighting its commitment to returning value to shareholders. Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in this stock after one year, it'll be valued at $11,847. Over 10 years, this investment could increase to $56,206. Extending the investment horizon further, after 20 years, it could grow to $344,766 and after 30 years, it has the potential to reach an impressive $2,389,708, paying $114,677 in annual dividends, which translates to a monthly income of $9,556. The total value added over 30 years could amount to $2,379,708, with total capital appreciation of $1,817,553 and total dividend reinvestment of $562,155, highlighting the potential for significant long-term gains. Again, these are great returns, but our next stock is even better. It has the potential to maintain the same valuation, but will pay over $60,000 in monthly income. Back to Lowe's. As for risk, it has a 24-month beta of 1.16, indicating slightly higher volatility compared to the broader market. However, this level of risk is generally acceptable given the company's strong market position and operational efficiency. The company's strong historical performance, stable revenue growth, attractive dividend yield, and robust profitability make it a valuable addition to any investment portfolio. Despite recent market challenges, Lowe's long-term growth prospects and commitment to shareholder returns make it a stock worth considering for investors seeking both income and growth. And now, the final dividend stock, topping our list at number one, we have the Hormel Foods Corporation, with the ticker symbol HRL. This is a well-known player in the food production industry. Trading very close to its 52-week low, Hormel Foods presents potentially one of the best dividend stock opportunities out there. Hormel's year-to-date price return is negative 5.62%, reflecting some of the broader challenges faced by the food sector. However, its 10-year price return is 24.26%, which, while modest compared to other stocks on our list, shows steady and reliable growth over a long period. The company maintains a payout ratio of 69.25%, which suggests that the company returns a good portion of its earnings to shareholders, making it an attractive choice for income-focused investors. From a valuation perspective, Hormel is considered fairly priced. 
In terms of risk, Hormel has a 24-month beta of 0.42, indicating lower volatility compared to the broader market. This lower beta makes Hormel a more stable choice for conservative investors. The company offers a forward dividend yield of 3.73%, one of the highest in its division, and it's backed by a strong dividend growth rate of 11.66%, along with a moderate 2.18% average share price appreciation. It has an impressive streak of 57 consecutive years of dividend growth, so the company knows and has been maintaining consistent dividends. Now, considering future projections, investing $10,000 in Hormel today could yield significant returns over time. After one year, this investment might grow to approximately $10,591. Over a 10-year period, it could increase to $21,526. Extending the investment horizon further after 20 years, it could grow to $98,835. That's where the dividend snowball effect kicks in. After 30 years, it has the potential to reach a remarkable $2,363,270, meanwhile paying $792,700 in annual dividends, which comes to a monthly income of about $66,058. The total value added over 30 years could amount to $2,353,270, with total capital appreciation of $121,155 and total dividend reinvestment of $2,232,115, highlighting the potential for substantial long-term gains. Now, what if I told you there's a way to triple that using a safer approach and still get paid over $100,000 in monthly dividends? Click the video on the screen to learn more.